The most fun you can ever have is dancing all night to a great polka band. There's only one problem in doing that today, and that is unless you have a time machine, it's just not going to happen. Today in Wisconsin, polka as we knew it is dead. What remains is a dim shadow of its former self. As one veteran polka musician said to me long ago, polka is so dead that you can no longer read the writing on its headstone. Welcome to Wisconsinology and Music, a collaboration with 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology.com. Once upon a time in America, there was polka music, and for a while, Wisconsin was its capital. Polka was the music of the Great Lakes states, of the Polish, German, Czech, and Scandinavian populations who settled there. There used to be a saying, Eastern Europe, Eastern Wisconsin. What's the difference? Well, not much. It was here in the Manitowoc, Calumet, and Sheboygan County area, better known as the Polka Triangle, that the first king of Polka was crowned. His name was Romy Goss. He hailed from Grimm's, Wisconsin, near Manitowoc. He rose to fame in the 1930s and early 40s. In polka parlance, to play Romy Goss style means play fast, play hard, and don't stop. Just because you think you're so pretty. Just After World War II, so polka hard. became a brief national Just craze. From Sheboygan to Hollywood, from Dallas to Milwaukee, the city where Frankie Yankovic, an accordion player and singer from Cleveland, Ohio, was officially crowned its new king. Polka hit the national pop charts. Lawrence Duco from Potter, Wisconsin, and his Red Raven Orchestra became big stars. His song, Swiss Boy, was so popular that it spilled onto America's R&B charts. By 1950, piano accordion sales exploded across the nation, and no state imported or sold more accordions than Wisconsin. The king of the piano accordion at this time, and that's saying a lot, was Dick Metko, who hailed from Mattoon, Wisconsin, but spent most of his life in Appleton. There are so many styles of polka music. There's the Dutchman style, the Slovenian style, the Polish style, the Chicago push style, and there are so many stars. There was Concertina Millie, Milwaukee's queen of button accordion. Louis Bechel, Vern Meisner, Steve Meisner, Carl and the Country Dutchman, and the much noted Norwegian polka billy sounds of rural Dane counties, the Goose Island Ramblers. Polka had its final fling in the decade that became known as the Fat 70s. This was a time when, after a lifetime of union work, Many middle-aged and older polka fans had a lot of money in their pockets. Polka bands who traveled the circuit of VFW and American Legion halls across the Great Lakes states capitalized on this largesse. Today, there are, at best, a handful of aged polka bands and maybe one dedicated full-time polka radio station. You may ask, what happened? The answer is simple. The young people of the 1940s and 1950s aged, and polka, which never really changed in style, failed to attract a new and devoted young fan base. Polka may be dead, but it was so much fun. And who knows, there may be a 16-year-old polka rebel out there, somewhere in the Badger State, waiting their turn to stage a polka uprising. For 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology.com Long live polka. 
Wisconsinology on Music is presented by a grant from the Bright Idea Fund from the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, a supporting partner of The Avenue.